Good morning, everybody. I decided just to record this for Facebook because the live wasn't happening. So here's the big question. Welcome. I am Teresa Gigno, your yoga guide, and today's yoga tip is, of course, and most often and first for me, is the insightfulness. It's the psychology. We can mindfully move our bodies and breathe healthfully to help support the insightfulness, the psychology of who am I? Why am I here? Do I know myself? Well, this is the big, big topic that I'm finding in the past decades of you know, being a yoga guide is that people can move their bodies. Oh yeah, they can move their bodies and they can breathe and they can get all pumped up, but yet they're so lost. And that's an observation, not a judgment. The judgment, the discernment is, is that someone asked me the other day, T, how do you feel about your life? And I thought, I feel like I've done this lifetime several times over guiding people to love and nourish their beings. And remember that love, love is the only answer. And yes, I've been in this lifetime forgetting that love is the only answer and I've been a bit of a wrench. Yes, I have. And I've learned from that, that, oh, from my apologies and my growth, that love is truly the only answer that liberates us. And when we love ourselves, we can love everyone else. Yes, we can. And loving yourself is knowing, okay, who am I? I am a third dimensional body, yes. I am a soul, yes. I have a journey, yes. I have gifts, yes. And that's where people get hung up. They forget what their gifts are. They forgot what they forgot. First, to love themselves, of course. And when they love themselves, they celebrate their talents, their gifts. Now, a lot of you are saying, oh, but you know, I love doing this, but there's already a ton of people doing that and nobody's gonna be interested in what I am doing. And I'm like going, no, that's not true. You and only you can do that gift, even though there are thousands and millions of other people doing something quite similar to you on the different uh, you know, continents or provinces or countries, but yet only you could do it your way. That's the truth. And there are so many people, billions of people on this planet that will enjoy your gifts and your services. Yes, and you will profit. But it's you realizing to never, ever, ever choose to, let's not, let's not say never, ever, ever. For you choose to continue to celebrate your gifts and bring them forth and love yourself and support yourself. So the first thing is knowing. What are your gifts? And that's where I think in the past decades, as I am discerning, not judging, that most people are lost. They're just following the rat race. They're just spinning their wheels, going to work, coming home from work, or playing the pity party of I've been abandoned, I've been hurt, I've been traumatized. I'm like, we've all been traumatized, trust me. But I'm not judging uh, levels of trauma. Oh, oh, well, however you deal with your trauma as a response, or a reaction, that's a whole different topic, is a different topic, but yet part of this. So knowing who you are, this is where the paradigm shifting, this is where the responsibilities of getting to know yourself through the mindful breath practices and movement that help liberate our beings, our souls, our third dimensional bodies, yet it is the psychology, the insight, of how are you thinking. So I invite you into my practice each day on the mat in a private session or in an in-studio practice with group or online in my subscription in the comforts of your own home to enjoy your liberation, to enjoy your physical body, to enjoy the insightfulness, the psychology of learning how to use your thoughts for the greater good of your being and then in turn for the universe. So imagine that, taking responsibility for your own being. Oh my goodness, wow, is that, that's all you have to do? And yes, and for some of you, you've been asleep and that's not a judgment. It's time to wake up and realize that you are responsible for your creativity, for your leadership, and for your decision making if you choose to move forward. You wanna have a joyful life? It begins with you. You want to have an exciting life? It begins with you. You want to have a life that is just wonderful? Hmm, 
Well, that's up to you. So remember, I gave the analogy in the written part of tap water. So you, I, I, my kids love it cold. I don't know why, I can't do that cold. And I love my hot tub so hot that nobody else like it, likes it, they like it warm. So you know you, you know yourself. Why don't you know your gifts? And why don't you know what you want every day and give yourself what you want every day? So this is simple work, I know, but the fear is what's keeping you from really diving deeper into yourself. And that's where my practices that I invite to you Check out TeresaGagno.com or just email me at info at TeresaGagno.com. Have a consultation. Maybe it's the astrology. Maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one discussion with massage and or yoga and or whatever we need to choose to do. Or join me in my teacher training program. It's all up to you and you are the creator and the leader and the decider. And I've mentioned that twice already. So keep on practicing. Whew, big breath in, letting go breath out. You know who you are. I hope you know the temperature of the water that you like in all uh, possibilities. Why not know yourself on a deeper level? Namaste. See you in the next episodes and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's there for everyone to celebrate themselves. Yes. Namaste.